welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and in this episode I'll be making a very quick video just to show you how to properly connect the foot switch, the speaker's cabinet and the effects loop section of the EVH5150 350 watts amplifier. Do you want to see with detail how this goes? Then let's get started. Alright, and now that we have our amplifier turned around, we're gonna connect our power cable, which is this one over here that goes on our very first left side of the screen, right there, okay? Something important for you to know is that when this is ready to be powered on, first you're gonna have to turn on the power right here, flip it up, wait for 30 seconds and then you turn on this other switch okay now for now we're gonna keep it down because we're not gonna turn it on just yet we need to make the other connections remember you don't want to turn on an all valve amplifier if it's not connected to a speaker and we haven't connected it to a speaker or to headphones yet so in the case we wanted to connect headphones I have some quarter inch headphones connectors right there and this will uh, let me uh, play through my headphones right there but that's not what we want right now so our next step is gonna be our foot switch all right and now we're gonna put the foot switch so uh, you can plug it in right here and then you plug it in right here okay so your foot switch is ready to go now something important to know is that when you turn on your EVH amp the effects is gonna always be off even though you had it on when you turn it off the last time so if you want your effects loop to be working you need to turn it on as well okay so we'll keep it up here for now The next um, connection that we're gonna do here is the effects loop, okay? The bottom one is the send, you can read it right there, and the return is the one up there. So, because I tend to reuse some of the cables, this is the send cable, I have it marked here on this little painter's tape, send, and this is coming as return, also marked. I, it goes in the upper connection, okay? We're not gonna be using the preamp out over here because we're not gonna connect this amp to another amp. So we have that and the final uh, connection is gonna be uh, for our speaker. So I'm using the angle cabinet right there. So, uh, in order to connect to that one, you can select here um, which ohms uh, you're using. So basically, the load of impedance, either four, eight, or 16. So I'll put mine at 16 right there, and I'm gonna connect right here. Okay, on the very first one. All right, now the final thing to connect is gonna be our guitar, but I know all of you knows where the guitar goes and that actually should be in the front so let me just plug it in now the guitar is connected now and we're gonna go ahead and test the system okay so like I said power on first wait 30 seconds right about 30 seconds have passed so it's time for us to do switch number two you can hear that's no effects you can see here still channel one no effects engage okay 
that means our send and return are working all right so we can okay there we go just gets too loud for the mic so uh, but basically uh, that's how you connect that's how you deal with the effects like I said once you turn off your amplifier your effects are gonna be disconnected again and we can just do that but remember to turn it off also same thing you go backwards now first standby you switch it off and about 30 seconds later power off okay so now you see everything is off and the final thing we're gonna do today it's gonna be turn back on and you see the effects have been uh, turned off automatically so if we want it we're gonna have to turn them back on now about 30 seconds effects on right away Thank you so much. Um, smash the like button if you uh, learned something in this video. And if you like, uh, if you would like more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.